So today we're going to discuss free basing variables. Basically, a free variable does not have a pivot position in its column. And if you think back to what a pivot position is, you can look at it as being the entry in the row. So in this specific example, starting with the system of equations, and I set them to a homogeneous matrix. It's, a, it's an automated matrix. And once I reduced it, this was the matrix that I received. Now, one thing that you'll be able to notice is that, okay, we have our first equation. That's the leading position, but that's also the pivot position. This is also, for this row, you have your leading coefficient, which is also for your pivot position. And then you have a zero. Here is all at the bottom row. So in this one, I can say that x3, which is this column right here, is our free variable because it contains no pivot position in that column. And then I can say that x1 and x2 are our basic variables. So anything that's not a free variable, you can call a basic variable. So like I said in this case, x3 does not have any free variables or it does not have any pivot positions therefore x3 is our free variable x1 and x2 contain no pivot positions so they are our basic variables i'll show you one more example in case you don't quite understand so again i have a matrix that i set up in, it's, as an augmented matrix And, and I got it into echelon form, okay? So in this example, where are our free variables and where are our basic variables? So we wanna see where we have pivot positions. I see that I have a pivot position in X1 in the first row. X, X1 has a pivot position. Or, sorry, the first row has a pivot position. Our second row, there's its pivot position. So now we need to find, are there any more pivot positions? No. So, x3 would be our free variable in this case, while x1 and x2 are both our basic variables. So go back, there's no pivot position in this column. Therefore, we can conclude that it is indeed our free variable, while x1 and x2 are our basic variables.